Hello and welcome to Fact of Fusion. Today we're gonna unlock the top 10 greatest secrets of magic ever time. Walking on water. Come, take a closer walk with me. We all must have seen Dynamo known as one of the greatest street magician of the current time, walking on the water of Thames River. But how did it do it? Well, the answer sure lies into the plexiglass. Plexiglass when submerged into water is almost hard to find because the density of plexiglass is almost similar to that of water. Plexiglass are clearly supported by plexi tubes and many magicians have tried the same variant in swimming pools or water lakes. But no matter where it's performed, the answer surely lies into the plexiglass. Darcy Oak's Dove Illusion Darcy Oak, the contestant magician in Britain's Got Talent, showed the magic in which he got pigeons from burning feathers. But how did he really do it? Let's have a closer look at this trick. The wings that he showed us before lighting it up is actually a special type of paper known as flash paper. Flash paper is very commonly used by magicians in their magic tricks to create quick large flashes of fire to hide the quick moments that create illusion from the audience. So did Darcy Oak use the flash paper for. Using a chance of quick flash of fire, Darcy Oak quickly got the pigeons from his left hand secret sleeve pocket that we can see here. So there is actually no magic, just the quick momentum of time. I think you just missed that, isn't it? Card from Deck Levitation it's almost impossible to know what the other person is thinking or watching, but not too hard for a magician. In this trick, the magician tells to choose any card at random from the deck and then places it back into the deck. He places a deck of cards in a glass and does some magical gestures and the card is popped out. The secret lies here. The card chosen at random is placed back into the deck where the magician wanted it to be. He places the remaining cards back over the deck which is supported by a special card at the end. The special card is supported by a counterweight that moves a small pad upwards when the card is turned upside down. The pad has a small dot of wax that sticks to the card and moves the card upwards, making it pop out of the deck. Girl Levitating in Air Ladies and gentlemen, please watch this very very closely. We all must have seen beautiful girl that is floated in the air on a plank of wood and a ring is also passed around her to ensure the audience that it is not supported by strings or rods. Now that's really magic. No, not at all. The plank of wood is supported by a strong hydraulic piston mechanism to hold the plank up in the air. The mechanism is hidden when the magician steps on the platform and takes his position. Under the foot of the magician, there is a button to control the motion of the plank. But how did it then move the ring around? Well, that's a good question, but the answer lies in the S-shaped design of the support rod. It can easily move the ring to the end and repeat back the moment to get the exit. So there's no magic at all, it's just an illusion. Can on a card Making a bottle or can stand on a card is an incredible magic, but not when you know the secret behind it. We all have seen great balancing acts shown by magicians on TV shows, but this is a special one. Let's see how it's done. The magician takes a card and places a can on top of it and does some magical acts of insanity and there you have it. The can is standing on top of the card, but when you take a look at the back of the card, it's actually two cards stuck together and folded from the center that forms a T-shape that's easy to make the can or a bottle stand over a card. Water into ice in a second you Can turn water into ice in a second even with a deep freezer? No, but a magician can. Watch this carefully. The magician pours water in a cup and instantly turns it into a piece of ice. How did it do it? Does he have a freezer in his hands? The cup already contained a piece of ice in it and a sponge of same color at the bottom of the cup. The water is absorbed by the sponge and what is left when the cup is turned upside down is the ice, the magic. 
David Copperfield's Death Song David Copperfield, the much-known classic time magician, performed the act of death saw magic in which he split apart himself into two pieces using a giant saw blade. That was really a great piece of illusion created by him. But here's the actual secret behind it. It's not just Copperfield in this act alone, but supported by one of his assistants for the later part of his body. The actual positioning is done in such a way, together they seem to be just as a single person. All the secret lies in the table beneath and a slight gap between the tables that can easily pass the saw blade from that. The body of Copperfield is bent into the table while the assistant's upper body is hidden in the table below. But at the end, adds off to the great piece of illusion and synchronization created by Copperfield. Twisting an iPhone Have you ever tried to twist your iPhone from its center? Obviously not. But Dynamo has done it in front of people on streets. He took an iPhone and magically twisted it from its center to half screen and half back position. That's insane! How did it do it? Well, here's the actual trick behind it. Dynamo took an exact half back cover of iPhone and placed it carefully holding over the screen. Now showing the audience the back of iPhone at first, he covered the iPhone with both of his hands and instead of twisting it actually, he just rotated the iPhone entirely to screen side with the half back cover placed over it. Go try out this trick with your friends and make them scream like crazy. Jamie Raven's Lemon Trick Jamie Raven, the magician famous for his acts in Britain's Got Talent. In his final magic, he got a signed note by Alicia out from the lemon that was kept intact in front of her since the start of the show. Could you take out the note for me? You've got to be kidding me! Does that have your name on it? Is that your note? <laughs> if you take a closer look while he was folding the note, he had a palm piece of paper in his hand that he instantly switches to and shows the people. Now with sign note still in his hand, he takes the bag from Alicia and drops the note into the bag very quickly. And with an indication to the audience that nothing in his hands, he reaches into the bag, stuffs the lemon with the note and takes it out very differently. He only shows one side of the lemon to the audience and cuts it very much differently. Have you ever tried to cut a lemon like that? Now when Alicia took the note out of the lemon, he very quickly closes it and puts it away. But let's take a closer look at it before. There's actually a hole in the lemon below and that's clearly visible. It is this hole through which he stuffed the note inside the lemon and the magic was created. That's really great trick, Jemmy. Houdini's Greatest Escape The greatest and most sensational of all Houdini's escapes was without a doubt his Chinese water torture cell. In this trick, Houdini was to escape an extraordinary contraption resembling a fish tank. The tank is filled with water while Houdini is placed head down in full view of the audience. But how did he escape in front of the audience with all the contraptions on his body? The assistants lock Houdini upside down with genuine locks but what we missed was they slide the pins out of the hinges holding the lock. Also the handcuffs are specially designed to get open with just a little force and finally making the magician escape. Thank <laughs> you.